What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Juggernaut Wars. Now this is quite the old school hero collector. Um, this is like before FG3000 era. Look at this. Look at my name here, Killa Kaz, ladies and gentlemen. So before I was FG3000, I was Killa Kaz over here um, playing mobile games on the sneak move. Like I, I think right around this time I was covering Smite or MMOs on my channel. So I was playing mobile games in secret. So I didn't quite um, apply the FG3000 name to all the mobile games I played. So that kind of gives you an idea of how long ago it's been since I jumped into the world of Juggernaut Wars. But um, like I said, this is an old school hero collector brought to you by my.com. Uh, my.com is most notably known for Skyforge on PC. So that is the team that we're working with here. Um, now, I used to play this game, like I said before, I was level 37. I actually quite enjoyed this game back in the day. Um, so I'm very curious to see how this game kind of holds up um, now in 2019, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one thing that I absolutely adored about this game, and I still do, and I'm using the word adore. Think about that for a second. Hold on, don't look just yet. I'm gonna kinda show you what I really liked about this game, and I still do. I love the fact that they blended real life like looks with like fantasy. So like everything looks like a real life person with just like fantasy added onto it. This is probably the best example right here. That looks like a real woman, you know what I'm talking about? But then everything around her is like fantasy. I like that. I have not seen a hero collector since Juggernaut Wars attempt this art style. And I gotta say, Juggernaut Wars is in a league of its own when it comes to that. I love the way this art looks in this game. It like, look, Healer Cassandra, I love that. I wish another game would try to copy this art style because I think it is very underrated. I, I like it. I really do. Very, very cool. So those are the few of the characters that we have here. Um, but let's go ahead and get it on in this video as we do, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be doing a dailies overview to give you guys an idea of what it's like to do your dailies here in the world of Juggernaut Wars um, to see if this is something that you can fit in your schedule, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get it on. Now, the very first one here is a battle in the campaign 10 times. So I've already kind of tested this out, but I'll show you what it's all about. So here's the campaign mode. I'm just gonna stick with the team that I had the last time I was playing this game um, because I do not remember. Oh, look at this art, ladies and gentlemen. I am, I I don't know if I'm, I'm probably not gonna come back to the game, but this is nice. I like that. All right, first beef, first beef. And I don't remember this being the case back in the day when I played it, but maybe I just didn't know any better back then. Poor young FG, kill a cast to be exact, um, didn't really know a lot about Hero Collector. So this bothers me to know in today, but maybe back then it didn't bother me. Um, but in order to do faster speed here, you gotta be VIP three. And there is no soft VIP in this game. It's only a hard VIP, which means money only. Um, so that kind of sucks. I gotta say, it kind of sucks, man. I don't like when really basic features like this are locked off on VIP, um, especially speeding up, because if you add a speed up function in your game, you know your game's a little slow. Like, you know that. But you're gonna lock away people's satisfaction of your game via a paywall, and let me tell you something. It never works out that way. I, I don't have any marketing data research to back this up, but I kind of feel like when people see stuff like this and they get bored because the game and the battles just take too long, they're just gonna quit. They're not gonna open up their wallets for you. In my humble opinion, I could be wrong. Um, but as you guys can see, this is a very old school hero collector. Everyone just has one ultimate ability to go along with their skills that automatically, and their basic attacks that automatically just go off. So um, don't see a lot of games like this anymore um, because obviously only having one skill is not fun long-term, um, but uh, there you go. Nice variety in the biomes, and I gotta say, considering the age of this game, the graphics on the 3D combat models look good, and the background stages actually look really good. So, yeah, good on them for using an engine like this, because I think it stands the test of time. They didn't try to go too realistic, they got just enough, like, reminds me of like the, the World of Warcraft aesthetic like here, when you're looking at the backgrounds. This looks like this could have come from like a bootleg World of Warcraft clone. Um, so the good thing about that is those graphics very much so um, stand up to the test of time. So good on my.com for thinking about that. Hello, <laughs> FG, calm down. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, got ourselves a little boss encounter here, a little assassin. He looks like an assassin wearing like some tier two armor from World of Warcraft as well back in the day. But hey, not lo no longer back in the day. Classic is coming back. 
but we're not talking about WoW right now. Also, the characters do have a little bit of voice acting, as you probably heard as they do their ultimate. Very nice. And down you go. Maybe. I wish I had that times two speed. That would have been very nice. But that's okay. Not okay. Not okay. Um, but there you have it. So let's go ahead and go back over here to the home screen. And then also when it comes to the game, once again, hidden behind VIP. So if you really wanted to sweep the stage 10 times or 12 times, you're going to need VIP 7. Um, but you can do manual one by one sweeps. So, I mean, you can still get the job done. There you go. So there you have it. I need to actually sweep these stages that have fragment drops because the next daily, ladies and gentlemen, is um, sweeping these stages here with these little icon faces here. This allows you to build up fragments of these characters over time and allows you to unlock them. So very much appreciated. All right, so we have beat the campaign 10 times thanks to sweeping. And then I've also battled three times for hero soul stones. Those are basically fragments. So that's two dailies down, ladies and gentlemen. So open five chests. So this is going to be, so I can open up one of these for free on a timer, show you what the chest opening animation is. Very nice. Got ourselves some equipment that we can use to upgrade our characters. Um, we also have kind of our standard chest here, 10% off, 4,500 for a 10 pool, which will give you a guaranteed hero. Um, and then we have this chest right here, which is 1,000, requires VIP 11. Can't even open this chest. My money's not good here. Gotta be VIP 11 in order to uh, unlock this chest. So once again, these are very old school methodology here. Um, once again, you don't really see a lot of new games do VIP as much. You still do, like let's not get it twisted, but you're seeing lots and lots of more of these new ones not do the whole VIP thing. So also doing skill ups will also give your give this uh, another daily accomplishment. One of those games, where your skill points are on a timer. I despise these systems. I don't understand why they're here. It's just kind of annoying. If I've earned the skill points, let me use them. But there you go, daily done. All right, oh, time to do arena. I gotta do it five times. We definitely won't be doing it five times, um, but we will at least check it out. I can put auto on, so you can manual your uh, your PVP on your side, but of course you're gonna go, going to go against um, AI opponents here. And once again, can't speed it up. <laughs> this is gonna burn people out. Like, you you guys gotta raise up off of that VIP 3 when it comes to a speed up function like that. That's just not it, Chief. Yeah, y'all, y'all, uh, probably too late for this game to kind of attract new people, but I gotta imagine that that did not do uh, very well with people when it came to like just just dragging out combat when it, it's not necessary. Um, but yeah, you gotta do that five more times We're not, or four more times. We're not gonna do that in this video. Um, so let's su successfully, wow, was that a hard word, FG? Was it really? Maybe it was. This is kill a cast, not FG. Um, <laughs> here's the trial five times. Um, so here we go. Fa -la 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 -da. All right, let's jump over here to this thugs camp. Can I do difficulty two? Maybe. Ooh, look at this. Very nice. So once you've three started, all you gotta do is just go in here and hit auto battle so you don't actually have to do it anymore. Thank you for not hiding that behind VIP. I appreciate that. So done and done. Got ourselves some resources and completed our daily. We'll take it. Let's see what else. Battle in arena. Fight in a clan raid. Ah, man. Let me in a clan. Oh, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> where's, where's the raiding? I'm gonna help you guys out right now. Actually, can I look at the roster really quick? How do I look at the roster of who's in this guild? IQ, wait, hold on, I think I figured it out. Here we go, last login. Um, so that's a lot of hours. Yeah, that's a lot of hours here. So clearly, no, the leader has been logged in 28 hours ago. Why hasn't he kicked out these people that haven't been on in like forever, forever? I wonder why he's not keeping it clean. But yeah, it's a, it's a decently active guild. It's actually decently active. Most people have been logged in within the last couple of days or so. Some people a little bit longer than that. But yeah, actually decently active guild here. IQ over 140. That's why I'm in the guild. <laughs> All right. Let us do um, this clan raid. There it is over here in the battle cave. Ah, oh, clan members with your rank can't... Man, First VIP shutting me out. Now I don't have a good enough rank to do clan raids. 
fight on the trial of death two times. So uh, this looks to be one of those one of those survival modes looks like. I do want to use this little this lady here that looks like a drowned woman who's come back with all kinds of evil powers. Round one of seven. Oh, we're definitely not doing this. Oh yeah, she looks really cool. Get this stupid thing out of the way. Get this out of the way. I can't get it to go away. <laughs> well, she looks cool. She has this like octopus arm. Very, very cool. Like that. Um, but this looks like some type of survival mode or something of that nature. Let's see what happens when we get to the second round. If we even get to the second round. We're about to lose our little front line here. Yeah, this is, we're not going to be long for this world. If this is a, sur a survival mode, we ain't surviving. I like her attack there. Little water attack AoE. Yeah, we are getting destroyed. <laughs> Finally got you down. We just now made our way to the rear line there. And then, yeah, you just keep on going. This should be very quick. We got a full roster against us here. I just want to see if this is a survival mode. Because I do not remember this one. <laughs> she's a she's a freaking powerhouse right there. Like the voice acting. And down we go. GG. She was holding it down. Now we're all finito. One last splash to your face. Yep, yep. GG. All right, one wave completed. So if I go back in, oh, I gotta spend gold to go back in. I see, and I bet you, let's just test this. Now I can use my same squad again. So it's just really get as far as you possibly can for free, but then spend gold um, to continue through here. And then you also get one for free for VIP five. There you go. So a uh, very nice. All right, so what else is here? Um, enchant any item. Let's kind of test out the quality of life here when it comes to enchanting things. To the maximum. Gotta be VIP 3. Ah, oh, let me out. <laughs> let me out. <laughs> I can't do anything in this game without VIP. What, what's after this? Attack someone else's cave. I will t attack someone's cave. <laughs> what, what's my cave doing? Let's see here. Oh, actually, I do want to attack these this cave really quick. Because I want to see some of these other characters. I'm probably going to lose this one. But let's just see... I want to see what some of these other units look like. I wish the game had a faster freaking setting. Um, yeah, pretty cool people here. Um, so this reminds me of kind of like uh, Brown Dust has a feature like this. Some other hero collectors also do. You have these little passive uh, mines that generate resources for you. And then people can attack your mine, take your resources, and then you can do the same thing as well. And you set up defensive teams to kind of guard your, your passive resource collectors, like your mine and your little gold uh, uh, cave here. Um, and then people can attack him and steal your, your resources, which is what I tried to do here, but I failed spectacularly. There you go. Um, so yeah, it looks like you got this bottomless pit, and then you have these caves here that all generate resources here for you. And you can kind of check the battle logs to see who's been attacking you. Um, nobody. People have left me alone, so I appreciate that. I probably didn't have anything worth stealing. <laughs> so that is that. Um, so plunder peoples. I did that. Failed, but I still get it. Start digging. How do I do that real quick? Let's see. I actually don't know how to do it. Don't know how to do it, but that's not super important there. That's a really quick thing to do if you're actually trying to do your dailies and knock that out for the day. Doesn't sound like that'll be too much. Um, use any, use some experience potions. All right, don't need anything special here. No VIPs required. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. Thank you. And I think that exchange sapphire for gold. Sure. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, level 38. This will be a perfect opportunity to give people a little bit of passive VIP, though. Um, type in your email address to receive updates. No, thank you. All right. And then that is it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for Juggernaut Wars. Um, it was cool to kind of take a look back at this game, but there are just too many VIP blocks in this game. So I don't care about my currency. I'm just going to open up these chests to see what I get out of this um, because FG won't be back. Got another copy of Hannah the Inquisitor. So that'll give us some uh, fragments, 100 soul stones to be exact. Let's keep on going here. I got uh, a shield, so this will make a shield. So th there's gear in here as well, and it looks like every single time you open this, you get this guy. All right, got this uh, Princess Leon, and it doesn't look like any of this currency. There's a lot of gear there, but ugh, kind of sucks. And then I got Hannah again. <laughs> well, what a way to go out, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you... In this game's defense, I'll defend this game one time. You're not going to do single pulls in a situation like this. You're just going to save up your currency to do a 10 pull so you get a guaranteed hero. So that's not totally fair. Um, but there you have it. Oh, I actually got enough to summon this guy. There he is. Looking pretty good. Putting some torrents of shame right there. Not bad. And then now I probably... How do I... Uh... Oh, I still don't have enough to promote her. 201 out of 350, so still can't raise her level or raise her star level up, unfortunately. Um, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yeah. <laughs> My name is FG3000. That was a look at a Juggernaut Wars. So me, FG, and Killer Kaz, we're out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.